In our last video, we learned about the three types of rocks, sedimentary, igneous, and metamorphic, and how they each form. One of the laws of science states matter cannot be created or destroyed. So how are new, younger rocks formed? They are formed from older rocks. Older rocks are broken apart or melted, and their materials then make new rocks. This process of making younger rocks from older rocks is cyclical and called the rock cycle. I like to draw out the rock cycle to better visualize it. Let's start with our three rock types, sedimentary rock, igneous rock, and metamorphic rock. I'm also going to add magma and sediments as in-between stopping points. And I like to start with these in between ones when drawing out the rock cycle. Remember, magma is hot liquid rock. So it comes from rocks melting in extreme heat. All three types of rocks can melt into magma. So I'm going to draw arrows from all three to magma and label it melting as that is the process by which they become magma. All three rock types can also become sediments, which, remember, are tiny pieces of rock. Weathering and erosion is the process of rocks turning into sediments. Now we've shown how we get to magma or sediments from our rocks, but not how any of the rocks are formed. Sedimentary rock, remember, forms from sediments through compaction and cementation. Next, igneous rocks form from the magma cooling. This is looking good, but we still need to form metamorphic rock. We learned in the last video, igneous rock and sedimentary rock can become metamorphic rock. For them to change into metamorphic rock, they require heat and pressure. There is the completed rock cycle. Drawing it out yourself several times will help you learn and have a better understanding of the rock cycle.